Right, so let's uh, let's start with uh, Gemini first, but before that, let me have a sip of coffee. Hello, Susan. Glad you're able to join. Wow, that was a really good ripple. Right, so let's uh, let's have a look about Gemini now. Uh, the first card for Gemini that will be the Two of Wands. Uh, accompanied here with the Four card, that, that, that looks quite promising for Gemini. And then the third one, but it doesn't align like that. So we do have the Two of Wands, the Four, and then uh, we do have the Sun. Wow, okay, great. So for Gemini, the thing is, is that um, actually today I had a dream check, okay? I read it for a dream. And although the cards were a bit different, they pretty much said almost the same thing, almost the same message. And here the message is, is that you do have um, a good accomplishments, or in other words, you are making progress, okay, in whatever uh, deals you are trying to develop, career-wise or relationship-wise, you are making a significant progress. And that progress is uh, needs to be, uh, how can I say, needs to be accepted as a, a natural progress, meaning that that is your yeah, that is the natural way of your growth. So that being said, you shouldn't give up on it no matter what. However, with the two of wands and the four cards as well, these two cards are urging one to kind of look into a bit outside of the box in order to expand on their efforts. Uh, I'm saying efforts because here we are talking about a growing in personal fields like growing in being better lawyer, like growing in being better lover, like growing in being better doctor, you know, growing internally or rather growing outwardly, if you uh, if you will. So the bottom line, however, for Gemini, it is why you have to grow, right? Well, with the two of wands, the growth is associated with a power to have things you want to have. Because the two of wands, it's uh, especially when we're talking about relationships, Two of Wands, it's about when you want something and you know you can get it, okay? And all becomes a, a game, you know, not to be way too bruisey, but in the same time, not to uh, kind of like, how can I say, abate the pressure off. And so it's about a finding the right approach to the situation, how to have whatever you want to have. And for you, Gemini, that is what the week is all about, you know, finding those expanding energies of gold that at the end of the day is going to present you with whatever you want to have, but you will need to once again, A, find the right measures, A, how to uh, how to accomplish it, meaning do not be high progressive, but while you are maintaining the pressure out there, not allowing the situation or the, the person in general to think of that, you know, you, you gave up on it uh, completely. So important thing for you, Gemini, throughout the week is really to wage your options and to look of a new for a new opportunities because once again the improvement comes outside of the box but it is but it is a internal improvement rather than improvement into your exterior uh, exterior environment right so that was um you're welcome robin so that was about Gemini. Now let, let's, um, oh my God, let's uh, have a look um, for cancer. So uh, just on a personal note here for Gemini guys, that looks a very good career reading, okay? So if you are really looking for some sort of an improvement into your career, uh, this week it is a, a week where you should try to display skills and assets that nobody else saw before that you do have, okay? Hello, Christine. Welcome.
Right, so uh, for Cancer, uh, this week we do have the Tree of Swords accompanied with uh, the Seven of Cups. And then we do have the star, okay? So that will be, how can I say, quite of a colorful one for you guys because um, it will have a simultaneously quite of an exuberating effect and in the same time you would be like, Meh. you know, it's, oh, oh my God. So what happens here it is that finally you are to realize what it is being, what what it will be required from you for whatever goal you do have you know for example if you do have a rocky relationship finally you are going to uh, realize what's what it will take from you to stabilize that relationship you have rather difficult career finally you are going to understand what it will take to stabilize that career the thing is that it's not going to be what whatever you have expected as a matter of fact uh, it should be the last thing that you would have wanted to do nonetheless it is what improves so at the end of the day you do have a choice to make here throughout this um, throughout this week are you going to exit your zone of comfort and do what it takes and end the tumultuous time or chain of events you know or in generally era of uh, of your circumstances or you would prefer to be in a nice cozy place and see everything around you rumble into ruin. That is entirely up to you. But um, sitting, sitting at one place definitely is not going to produce results here. Uh, you have to understand that if you do want to surround yourself with say unfolding love, success with your career, or in generally for fulfill i'm sorry fulfill the uh high expectations of yours in terms of criteria career-wise or relationship-wise you gotta get your thing off the couch and do something about it okay and that will be like a uh, like a cold shower that is going to come to you throughout this week or like a revelation you know a wake-up call if you will and are you going to act upon it once again? Well, that depends entirely on you. But no more disillusion, no more illusions, okay? No more, um, how can I say, false anticipations and celluloid understandings, if you will. It is just is going to be one cold truth that you are not going to like, but nonetheless, it is, uh, it is the truth. Uh, all right, so that was about uh, that was about Gemini. Uh, not Gemini. I'm sorry, Cancer. And now we move next to uh, to Leo. Hello, Marnie. Right, so uh, for Leo we do have the Knight of uh, the Knight of Wands accompanied with the Ten of Pentacles, and then we do have the Three of Wands here. Okay, so those uh, those three cards for Leo. Um, hello, Kristen. So Leo, uh, for you guys, uh, pretty much those cards are pointing that you do have a week of experiments ahead of you, meaning that you get to try a lot of new stuff in terms of career and in terms of relationship wise as well. Now, important thing with those cards for you is to understand what's, um, or to, yeah, to kind of like understand what is certain for you. I don't know how to really say it. Well, it is like using your established patterns already to, to, to make a leap forward and to accomplish rather a great deed. Because that week is all about challenging yourself and expanding your limits beyond the utter limits. I, I don't know how to say it. So, um, very important for the week itself, in terms of career, in terms of relationship, it doesn't really matter where. It is that once you start performing, once you start trying to accomplish something, if the results are not shaping according to your expectations, you got to leave it behind. OK, 
because uh, with the, the uh, with the Knights of Wands, you do have the luxury, like I said, to experiment. As a matter of fact, you need to be quite enterprising and quite versatile throughout the week. And definitely one amongst the many enterprises that you get to involve yourself in is going to uh, develop exactly according to your uh, according to your expectations. And one more thing I want to mention here, thank you Priscilla, uh, one more thing I want to mention here, it is the combination in between uh, the uh, Ten of Pentacles and the Knights of Wands. So they appear to be a active neutrals and now uh, I'm saying that because almost all of us are expecting, you know, some kind of a reconciliation or something like this. It's less likely to happen throughout the week. I, and even if somebody tries to make up to reconnect with you, either on a friendship level or on a romantic level, business level, it doesn't really matter. It does appear that you're going to have far better option available in front of you. OK, so pretty much uh, that that person may have missed their chance already. Uh, Maria, yes, uh, you can definitely rewatch the video once uh, once the stream is over. But in case you are first time here, uh, I am going to conduct a pool of free readings. So if you do want to have a uh, free reading, that is the way you do it. You just make sure you stay until the breaks. OK. Hello, Sandy. Right, so that was about Leo. It does look like, guys, that you are not going to starve for uh, interesting stuff to do throughout the week itself. And uh, should you, for example, are looking for a, a potential partner in love, uh, you're going to have more than just one option available in front of you throughout the week. So just keep your eyes peeled. And once again, go out and socialize. Right, and um, hello, Alison. And the last one from the first four star signs before the break is going to be uh, Virgo. So we do have the Eight of Wands for Virgo, accompanied with the Eight of Swords, uh, followed by the King of Cups. Now, that's quite interesting. One second. Wow. I, that is a, a very... Uh, it's uh, How do you say it in English? When you do something completely out of your character that it's kind of like it's putting everybody stunned so that is what you're going to do it's like pulling an ace of your sleeve where nobody really expected nobody saw it coming and don't get me wrong with that kind of in any um, behavior or th th such kind of a, a move you can accomplish significantly you can accomplish a lot now what we do have here with those two okay it is where you overcome certain boundaries and certain lim limitations that have not been self-imposed okay it's it's like they have been either imposed by um the nature of your relationship or by the nature of your career and because you do a uh, such an unpredictable uh, unpredicted maneuver that it is just catching the person or the organization or the subject that it is uh, restraining you from something so much in guard that they have no time nor space nor having an idea or a clue how to react on that and simply they give up okay so that is a week of a very swift and very fast move that you're going to do which is going to create an, an enormous results uh, for you that is which are going to break like I said a certain limitations that you do have in terms of business or in terms of relationship and uh, From there it's just you know the the world is going to be open for you uh, now very important is not to think twice When the time comes by but just be swift and be hasty Okay, because you're gonna have very small window of opportunity because the opportunity with the eight of ones. It's it's a very uh, in flux or it's kind of like in a great flux, meaning that it just flies, uh, it, it comes with the flow and flies by, if not catch it, catched and goes with the flow again. Uh, I, and that being said, you need to be, uh, have that extreme readiness uh, for, uh, for action in terms of career and in terms of relationship as well. Right, so that was uh, for the first, four star signs and now um, the first pool is going to happen so if you do want uh, your question to be answered please 
input it now into the uh, into the post of uh, of the live stream. If not, five minutes break and then uh, we are starting with the other four stars. Uh, oh my god, with the other four star signs. Hello, Alice. All right, so we do have a, a pretty generic one from a Lynn uh, Curly saying, will I find new law? So let's have a look. All right, Lynn, so we do have the Queen of Pentacles, which is the first one, followed by the Queen of uh, the Queen of Cups, which is the second. Moving next, we do have the Sun, and moving uh, last, we do have the Princess of Cups. All right, so that is the Page of Cups, so those, uh, those four, okay. So, um, let me give you a time frame. Um, well, that's quite a uh, long period of time, uh, Lynn. So what we do have here with those uh, with those four cards, okay, so let me let me show them one more time, okay, so these four here, okay. So what we do have here is that you already have found it, it is just you don't know it yet. What I mean is that it is someone from your current social circle, all right, but it is just the poor guy or the poor, the pure, the poor, oh my god, the poor girl, I don't know what your preferences are, uh, it's stuck into the friendship zone, <laughs> okay, that's, uh, that's pretty trivial. And uh, by the end of May next year, uh, the perception of both of you is going to change. I mean, not just she or he is stuck into the friendship zone, you are stuck into the friendship zone too. So you both are not looking toward each other as a potential lovers. Uh, it's, very, it's very possible that that person may right now be in a family or may right now be in another relationship and they just don't don't know it yet you don't know it yet either uh, but by uh, the end of May next year uh, the perception of it will completely going to change and at that time uh, you both are gonna see each other as a uh, potential lovers and that being said a, a long-term uh, a long-term lovers all right uh, Maria I'm from Bulgaria So 
So that is uh, that is the answer to your question. Will you going to find a new love? It's it's a new love, but not with a new person for you. Okay, it's just with a guy or girl that you already know. Thank you, Adriane. Thank you so much for supporting me. So yeah, that, yeah, guys, if you do want to support me, all that you gotta do is just share the stream so it can reach more people. Hello, Gabe. Unfortunately, Amy, uh, yeah, but you can rewatch it after that and don't forget about the polls that I am uh, answering a, a free, uh, giving a free answers to questions. Your Slavic brother, how does it, how does it, oh my God, how does it sound? Yeah. So what's, uh, where are you from then, Maria? You should be, I don't know. Macedonia, no, I don't know, no, Macedonia, no. Serbia? Hello, Donna. So, yeah, where are you from? Just a couple of minutes, guys, and we're gonna do the the other four uh, star signs. Slovakia. I I just thought about it, you know, but trying to I just try to kind of like uh, gamble on anything else. I would have said I knew it. Hello, Corisa. I uh, hope you enjoy the content. Welcome to the stream. Right, so um, before we start, guys, once again, uh, should you want a um, a personal reading, you can always purchase one from my website, which is uh, listed here into the post. And once you place your purchase um, within 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you with an email to describe you how your reading is going to take place. And as well, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, the tarot classes are starting from Sunday this week. So if you want to sign up, you can go to my website and uh, purchase a class from there. The beginner's course is six weeks long and it pretty much explains all about the major arcana and how to use the mean spread and how to make a reading only with a major arcana as well so at the end of, of the class you can pretty much practically um manifest you know whatever uh what what you have learned in the class itself all right so um What's COVID-19, uh, where I am? Well, 3,000 cases throughout the whole pandemic. So I guess it's not that bad at all. I mean, uh, as a matter of fact, since yesterday, um, or since today, I'm, I'm, I'm today for you guys, which are in America, but since yesterday, uh, for us, the Europeans, the, the restrictions here in my country are lifted, so we have no quarantine whatsoever anymore. We don't have to wear masks. Uh, masks. I'm sorry. We don't have to keep social distance. Uh, it's it's like a, it's like coming back to normal. Your Bulgarian love is going to return to you with a coincidence. Knowing Bulgarians, I don't want to. No, oh my God. <laughs> Why with coincidence? I mean, why, 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 why would you leave it to a coincidence? Uh, 
Uh, Christine, that is because I have a high blood pressure. I, it's, my head hurts. Okay, that's uh, it's not an allergy. It is just I am not very well, guys. Right now, today, I mean, but still, it's um, it's a stream time, so. Right. So, um, Libra, we have the Moon uh, with accompanied with the Eight of uh, with the Eight of Swords. Uh, moving next, we do have the Five of Swords like that. So that is a bit scary here. What we do have, you are going to experience throughout the week quite so a. Uh, how do you say when somebody is expecting something and that thing does not show up? It doesn't show up today, it doesn't show up tomorrow, it doesn't show up the day after, but you know that it's going to show up. It's just you are waiting for it uh, every single day and the damn thing does not show up throughout the week itself. So that itself, uh, that kind of a... Um, that could be a waiting for a confirmation, for example, that could be a waiting for a second interview, waiting for an internship, waiting somebody to tell you, yes, I want to be with you, for example, or uh, anything. You know, it is just about waiting for something uh, that you pretty much um, placed a big, uh, how can I say, no big hole, but you have placed rather big bet into. Okay, you, you could have placed a big bet regarding your career or regarding your love as well. Uh, it's, uh, what I mean is that you have set yourself exposed into that, uh, into that particular thing. Um, the thing is going to come about, all right? So your confirmation is going to come about. It's just it's not going to be throughout this week. And because it's not going to be throughout this week, you may have all these fantasies of the doom and gloom and that everything is going to go down to the sink and it's going to become sour and so on and so forth. So the best way how you can spend uh, the week itself, <clears throat> it is by enjoying yourself. Okay, Just wash it off your head and leave it be because bottom line with those cards, it is that you did what you could. Okay, Whatever it is. To, to get successful into your current job or to become uh, uh, with a, in a relationship with somebody or to improve your relationship in general, you did what you could for the time being. And right now you gotta leave the circumstances to do their, their part as well. So this week for you, Libra, it's a week of where you have to turn to your own personal well-being rather than being stressed yourself out for things that simply are not in your turf anymore and they do not depend on you for the time being once again. <clears throat> you think so, Maria? Well, that's uh, that kind of makes sense because I have such an unhealthy diet. Diet, if burgers and pizzas are uh, are a diet at all, you know. Just give me a second, guys. Oh, so it's a coincidence that I'm also a Bulgarian. Yeah, we are everywhere. There was, there were that Bulgarian movie that uh, there was a song that was uh, that was playing in there we are at the every kilometer you know so we are everywhere that's not exactly true though but it's true that uh, there are more Bulgarians living outside of Bulgaria rather than in Bulgaria itself hello Robin just only lately so beforehand I was doing a terrible job I guess Uh, no, I'm not sick. It is just, I don't know, I, my head hurts. So, um, Scorpio, we do have the Nine of Pentacles moving next. That is going to be the Seven of uh, the Seven of Pentacles. 
and then we do have the six uh, the six of cups here so these uh, three cards so what we do have it is a um, passive friends and then we do have a passive supporters with uh, with these two so literally about this week is that we do have a big thing in front of us and we should not screw it around okay so that is like a big event or a big person or a big opportunity that it is lurking behind the corner and it will be like a gift to us with the nine of pentacles that is like d1 or like d deal or like d job or like d project you know it is it is like a big d there and um <clears throat> With the Six of Cups, it means that we are going to enjoy working or being with it in generally moving forward into the future. But because we do have the Seven of Pentacles, that kind of uh, represents that we could either overkill it, okay, or be completely negligent to it. That is if we do not have an objective perspective of the, uh, the treasure, because I'm going to name it as a treasure. So... Uh, an objective perspective over the treasure that have been presented to us and um, <clears throat> because of it we need to have that uh, mindset it's it's truly a mindset to uh, leap into development okay so we should be uh, eager to improve and to expand on our current business on our current relationship status that is about a relationship status okay and to expand into uh, into endeavors that are simply going to make us enjoyed of the things that we are going to do because that week <clears throat> itself it's all about doing things that we like okay if you like to sleep then go there and sleep if you like to drink go and drink you know if you like to mess around mess around it is, it is all about what we do like and whatever wh whatever we do like this is where that's uh, big d <clears throat> is going to uh, expose itself to us that it is lurking uh, behind the corner and it's going to be a big thing so whatever we are starving of that means that this thing is going to be presented to us so whatever we are missing okay so that being said, well, I could expect then something big to happen in my relationship life, although I don't see that happening. But in any case, <clears throat> uh, it does look like that at the end of uh, at the end of this week, Scorpio, we are going to be quite emotionally satiated. That that's the whole thing. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. You know, guys, you know, there are th just those days that you are not feeling well. Well, for me, that is one of those days that you wake up and it is nothing wrong. You don't have a fever. You know, you, you just have a little bit of a headache um, and uh, and nothing uh, and you don't have the energy to do anything. Well, that is one of those days for me. Anybody has it. So I'm not like very sick. Thank you so much for your concern. But I'm not that sick. OK, it's just not a day for me. And I have looking forward to get to bed, you know, and sleep through it. And hopefully when I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to be fresh and like a new person. Yeah, I will feel better eventually, Jocelyn, or the other way, uh, the other thing, it's it's kind of like unacceptable for me at least right now, because either I'm going to feel better or worse, and I definitely don't want to feel worse. Right, so moving next, we do have Sagittarius. So for Sagittarius, um, just low energy. That yeah, that could be a thing as well, Lisa. So um, we do have the Knight of Wands, uh, followed by uh, the uh, Four card, and moving next, uh, we do have the Seven of uh, Swords. Oh my God! Well, that means oh my God. Well, um. 
you, you, you may find yourself quite shocked throughout the week, Sagittarius, because there are those that may name you narcissist, that you are a very selfish, okay, and that everything you do, you do it for yourself. And while that may be true, what these people don't understand that, that you do, you, you simply do deserve that thing because by now uh, you have contributed a lot for somebody else's well-being. Okay. <clears throat> so that being said, uh, Sagittarius, this week it is a, a week where you are going to turn uh, your look and in generally your uh, your performance towards satisfying your own personal needs and finding your own personal um, opportunities, if you will. That is because the Knights of Wands, like I said already, it's all about finding your options available or um, experimenting with your options available. Therefore, you are to be uh, quite of an enterprising individual that can do a lot from a small things. But when pair, um, oh my God, uh, I'm sorry, guys, excuse me. I just lost voice for a second. So when paired with the seven of uh, with the seven of swords, that really turns the whole thing in worthy. Okay, and with the, the seven of swords, it is one of the highest card for a self righteousness. Meaning that what you do, you, you you are not doing it just for yourself because you can. You are doing it because you do deserve it. Okay. And um, although you may be blamed throughout the week that you are doing selfish stuff or selfish maneuvers, that you are not willing to help to somebody or you are, uh, how can I say, taking advantage of a certain situation, you're doing it because once again, you work for it and you do deserve it right now. It's no different than um, <clears throat> accomplishing a project and, and to split the, the price with somebody else who had no contribution to the project whatsoever. That is unfair and such kind of a self-righteousness you are going to have. And regardless of are you going to be named a narcissist or a really selfish person or even sociopath at some places, uh, at, in some very extreme cases, that is not going to change your opinion that throughout this week you have to make some quite significant progress for yourself and what you're going to find here is this combo which is a active friends and these are a, a brand new experiences in many fronts okay new experiences into your career new experiences into your relationship as well that is like reinventing or rather like a redefining the world on its uh, a, a new not on its own but a new it is what i was wanting to say uh, therefore you may kind of like uh, find new hobbies you may find new things to to keep yourself occupied with that they are delivering pleasure to you uh, you may um, establishing new projects new career fulcrums new relationships and etc etc so that week for you it's all about exploring reconnoitering and establishing contact okay and from there the new beginnings which are going to be a multiple new beginnings are and oh my god are imminently gonna take uh, gonna take off so that was about Sagittarius now. Um, moving next, we do have uh, Capricorn. Hello, Diana. <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Christine, but that is that was not my point. Well, to a certain extent. So as you're mentioning, you are starting a business and you are a Sagittarius. You know, throughout the week, somebody may ask you to take advantage of your business. Like, for example, a friend of yours may ask you, you know, can you take me on board? Although that friend is completely unfit for the business itself. So you have to think business wise and say, no, I can't, you know, because you're just not fit. Well, that is what, how they're going to see you selfish, that you don't want to share your good fortune with them. But the thing is that you do have a self-righteousness, understanding that they will just, they, they're not going to be reliable. They are going to be a liability. Okay, that, that is what I am trying to uh, say here with uh, with those uh, cars that came about. So you got to prepare for, uh, yourself for some, uh, how can I say, confrontation, if you will.
Right, so wow, so for Capricorn, that is going to be the uh, the uh, Hermit. Oh my god, we have the Ace of Cups now. If we're talking about true love, well, the, that's the thing. I mean, I mean, that I, I sense a pattern here because the last several um, several readings we did for Capricorn we do have something that really guides us toward kind of like a relationship you know and finding opportunities and all these kind of stuff and we really have it here now that may not be about true love but if we can define a true love with the tarot cards well that's the thing okay <clears throat> that defines it and then we do have the eight of cups these three okay so uh, Capricorn are really the winner here they really takes the cake in these in this week that will going to be the most probably important week for them for a uh, for a month to come uh, we do have an, an passive friend and then we do have a passive friend so that means that whatever this week produces for you is going to be for a, a so lasting time I mean it will last I don't want to say lifetime, but probably years in advance. So what we do have, it is, uh, I will go generic, okay, uh, in a sense, because that is a general reading. So what the cards are really pointing, it is that something very substantial is going to take place. And under substantial, I mean that as you are right now in a dark place, A light is going to start uh, sparkling there okay that, that is the light that shines for you into the darkness that is something that I use into my tarot classes as well this is how I'm explaining the the hermit card the thing is that this thing is very substantial for example someone may offer you something well that is going to be your substantial thing throughout the week okay or you may be approached by somebody that is your substantial opportunity you may be uh, reassigned at your career same thing that could be your substantial event now how you're going to uh, recognize is it substantial is is that the, the substantial event or not well what the criteria for it is that's oh, oh my god i'm sorry guys so what the what the criteria for that substantial event is it is that not very people are going to be willing to not not much people are going to be willing to support you through it it is because they don't see it that way okay so whatever direction they uh, the hermit urges you to go to there are very few if any there to applaud you now uh, the decision also is not going to involve the, any emotions whatsoever is going to be decision based on intelligence and based on wisdom as well so uh what this represents here with the ace of cups it is that whatever it is offered to you okay it will make your current concerns if you will completely irrelevant gone so whatever you are worrying about at the start of the week as we do speak right now by the end of the week this new enterprise is make it completely irrelevant just to give you an example say that you are going through serious heart, uh, heartache okay really rough breakup recently and that is all that you think of okay and you can't shake it off well throughout the week it may be the case that a new person infiltrates your life and it's pretty much you see everything you have ever wanted in that person which makes your concern of the breakup irrelevant i mean it's simply you are throwing it into the dumpster uh so yeah you have to prepare that that's the bottom line here it is that this event when takes place or these circumstances when they they take place they are going to transcend your daily reality into something much more exhilarating into a much more exhilarated state and uh you are going to feel the urge to just abandon certain standpoints and certain situations even halfway through okay that you you have not get them done to the end but halfway through you just abandoning them it is because the new perspectives are looking way way more promising than what you can than what you can accomplish with the old um how can i say with the old perspectives or not with the old perspectives but with the old circumstances here so you can uh, <clears throat> you should prepare yourself capricorn for a full change of scenery here a reversal a huge reversal if you will and they are a long-term fulcrum and a long it's like the light at the end of the tunnel okay that that is what happens here for you guys
a light at the end of the tunnel. So Alyssa, that will be no longer after the week for what it seems. All right, guys, so uh, we are into the second break and now uh, you can ask your questions. I'm going to pick a question uh, as usual and it's going to and I going to and I'm going to perform a professional reading on the question. Yeah, hallelujah for Capricorn, right. What do you mean the same one, Maria? I, I don't remember your old question. I mean, I'm sorry, but... Or will your love return? Okay. Well, that's a very... Um, I, I want to explain something uh, before I go to pick the questions. That's a very, how can I say, uh, dangerous question. What if a bigger love resides elsewhere, right? So wh why you want to constrain yourself over... Or you are asking generically like you have lost your love over somebody and now you're trying to regain the feeling or the sense now, if I'm understanding the question correctly. Danny, you don't you don't have to be sorry, mate, that you are that you are late. Thank you so much for coming by, um, or for stopping by. Uh, you're awesome. Thank you so much. It's just Danny is, I don't know. It's it's my probably most loyal follower. He's everywhere, oh, on every stream. I mean, he's attending. Thank you so much, mate. Oh, it's a person. If you will return. All right, so um, my God, I'm struggling to pick a question. Not because there are no questions, but because I'm struggling focusing fo focusing on it. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's pick two questions. Um, there will be. Um, I saw one very interesting here, which is. Um, about an inner peace i saw it just one second here uh who was it oh yeah it, it was elisa rogers will i find true inner peace that is about lisa and um okay so let's uh let's have a look for lisa The 
the soulmates always find each other they do Michele it's just soulmate does not mean lover soulmate could be your friend you know your co-worker that you get along very well but they do that's why they're soulmates because their souls are linked with a, a string if you will but the misconception is that soulmate is always a lover the person that you're supposed to end up with that's not true soulmates uh, most of the time soulmate is just your bestie right so uh lisa was it was lisa right um about the inner peace oh my god i'm so sorry yeah lisa lisa rogers all right so lisa we do have the queen of cups for you followed by uh the eight the seven of cups and then what we do have here the other one is the nine of wands okay so those three so those are the conditions that you are going to find an inner peace okay and the condition to find an inner peace according to those cards it is to accept failures what i mean is to not take it like the world uh, the world is ending okay and that sometimes it does not depend on you uh, because uh, with those cards for what I can say here is that probably you do have tendency to blame yourself always with when things doesn't work out and that deprives you of having a an inner peace because the card of an inner peace for you that is uh, the uh, Queen of Cups in a, it's a pretty good card okay should you find an inner peace uh, that means that you are uh, never going to experience a heartache any any uh, anymore okay but the thing is that we do have the Nine of uh, Wands here, and that is a tot tarot, Alistair Crowley's tarot. And the Nine of Wands is all about uh, realignments, okay? So whenever you go through a failure, which is kind of described here by the Seven of Cups, disappointments, okay, that are created by failures, you most likely are blaming yourself for it, and that is disrupting your, uh, your inner peace. So you got to learn to handle disappointments okay that that is what that this is when you are going to achieve inner peace handling disappointments or rather like embracing the disappointments saying that it's not over you know Okay, and because I scrutinized Maria's question, let's uh, let's pick let's pick the Maria's question. So, is her old love, who happens to be a Bulgarian as well, going to return to her? All right, so let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, Evelina, not really. You know, some people that don't have problems of handling disappointments, like me, for example. Uh, I don't get disappointed. I, I can't catch myself getting a disappointment because I am a person who is on a standpoint. Whatever happens, happens. You know, always it could be, it could have been worse. So we should be grateful when it is what it is. You know. Love and light, Tricia. Or Tricia. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. All right, so let's have a look. And I certainly don't blame myself over failures. I do when it's truly my fault, okay? But for example, if I get laid off, from work I don't blame myself or if I get dumped in relationship I don't blame myself you know because I am who I am and I, I probably end up in a place that I do not belong to that's not my fault there are people who are blaming themselves right and uh, apparently Liz is one of these people uh, Crystal it's Scorpio my zodiac sign is Scorpio Hello, Amanda.
Ивелина, извинете, Ивелина Десятникова. Right, so uh, we do have the Wheel of Fortune for you, Maria, followed by the Three of Cups. Moving next, we do have the Seven of Cups here, okay? And the last one, that will be the Prince of Pentacles. I mean, you nailed it when you say buy a I mean, I nailed it when I asked you, do you really want to have it by a chance? Because I understood that, you're, that you want your Bulgarian boyfriend back uh, by a chance, you know, to happen randomly. And that is exactly what's going to happen here. Um, let me give you a time frame. by the mid of april next year okay so by the mid of april next year you're gonna have off and on and off for what it seems now uh, it's very possible that your ex currently it's um how can i say interacting with other women we do have three of cups into the second position of the spread and that pretty much um how can i say um it's a luck of a similar vision what i mean it is that you may expect or you may want him to get back he doesn't have that in mind currently but just because he doesn't have it in mind currently doesn't mean that he will not have it in mind in a couple of months from now all right uh, now you need to take any chance i mean absolutely any chance to communicate with the guy okay even if you are to wish him a best of luck or you know happy birthday or whatever you need to maintain any any chance of communication in other words you need to um keep or keep him in mind or rather like uh show him that you are around maintain a presence okay as we do have the knights of pentacles in terms of relationship in that position in my spread knights of pentacles is about jumping into the old branches of love so we definitely are having sparks of emotions in between you two so you're going to the very least gonna start considering and contemplating getting back together now is that gonna happen it will depend on how determined you both are by i mid of april next year Yeah, I know. I know what you meant. I mean, I kind of like, uh, I realized what you meant a couple of minutes later, but my, because English is not my native and, you know, it's just, I, I got lost into the translation. But yeah, it's uh, probably it was a premonition as well, uh, because it's, it's literally by a chance that it's going to happen um, by a coincidence. Right. Thank you, Evelina. Uh, isn't that how your name is pronounced? I mean, because you are a Slavic and uh, it should be pronounced that way. Now, I, you know why I don't want to take such kind of a questions unless not in a private reading? Because by those questions, I mean, should, uh, are, am I going to reconcile with my old girlfriend or with my old boyfriend? Uh, pretty much you are closing any other door, you know, because there may be a chance somebody else to come about that is going to be simply better, you know, and, and that is for a man, that is for a woman. So pretty much the right question in my book, you know, is when I am going to be happy or am I going to be happy in love for the next, you know, maybe six months, one year, two years if you will uh whom with it should not matter at all but that is just my vision i gotta drink the water guys and i'm gonna and i am going to drink the water from a bottle so i do apologize for that but it's just my mouth is so dry oh my god
All right, so a couple of minutes and we're going to move to the last four star signs and um, Yeah, after that the third pool of questions is going to happen Wow, do I? Well then, well, then every Eva in my country should fall in love with me. Oh my God, I didn't knew that. <laughs> uh, Laura, when the Pisces season come about, Pisces is going to be first. Okay, so if you stick up with me until I think February, right? I mean, Pisces is February. Um, you are gonna have the honor to have um, to have your sign read first, all right? Team Pisces, yeah. I always get swarmed by Pisces. What I mean is, I get not swarmed, swat by Pisces. They are always uh, saying, you know, you should start Pisces first. And when I was doing that in February, nobody complained, you know. And now it's um, no, you are not last. You are third from the last. Uh, yeah, Charita, for personal reading is best, I mean, um, and depending on how much time you purchase, um, you should come up with armed with questions. Um, just to give you an example, should you go for 20 minutes, you should come with at least four questions having, okay, having a, at least four questions or four situations that you want to know about if you don't have any specific questions though. I saw one more. That I want to have a look at uh, because um, yeah that will be uh, Stephanie De La, De La Garza oh my god I'm so bad into the Spanish names because that is either Spanish or Italian De La Garza so let's have a look is Stephanie gonna have the job. That is just one card reading, okay? And it shows the possibility that you are going to have the job. We have the star for you, so if there is a card saying yes, that is second to best, okay? The, the best card saying yes, that is the sun, and the star is second to best. So, uh, if I have to give you a percentage, 85. Uh, that is because the star card is slowly developing card, okay? And maybe you are sown as, not that ex as someone that needs to be polished, and the only reason that you may not be, um, how can I say, employed at the job is if the company needs someone to fit there very fast, you know, and to take off immediately. And uh, because they may not have a time, you know, to not to educate, but to fit someone in, to, to wait for somebody to get the hang of the job. Right, so... Um, yeah, that that is uh, that is for Stephanie. Now, before uh, we go to the last four star signs, I'm going to annoy you a little bit more, guys. It's really annoying, but I can't go without it because um, it's a thing I do, and that's about the classes. You know, the tarot classes are starting at Sunday. And uh, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, uh, you can sign up for them. Uh, the Sunday, the beginner's tarot class is starting. And in the beginner's tarot class, uh, I'm going to explain you the major arcana and how to read with major arcana. Only how to interpret them in terms of career, in terms of relationship as well, and how they stand into the dedicated spread that I have chosen. 
By the way, that is the spread that I used here, the four card spread. And I usually go with it because it's such a brilliant spread. It's a universal spread. You can pretty much answer almost any kind of question. And it, it makes all of those spreads, Celtic cross spreads, uh, relationship spreads and all these completely obsolete. And it, it, the best is that it is a major arcana kind of friendly. As a matter of fact, it's designed to be uh, participated or performed with Major Arcana only. Hello, Karen. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoy the, the content. Welcome to the stream. And those who think that the Major Arcana are a piece of cake, the Minor Arcana are, are classes are starting as well at Saturday this week. Okay, and uh, the sign up is not up yet at my website, but it's going to be tomorrow. Yet, if you are eager to sign up right now, you can just give me a message and I will provide you with a, a link. Advanced classes, um, Maria, what's, uh, what do you mean under advanced classes? Because I consider, um, because the classes... When I, uh, in, in my classes, I run through the tarot cards in six lectures and I'm explaining the, the tarot card in every way possible. So when you are asked the question and you draw the card, you know what to say, okay? If they ask you in terms of career or in terms of relationship, you just know what to say. Because the way that, or, or at least this is how I'd like to think of, the way that I'm explaining the card is so you do understand the card, you do not memorize it, okay? You understand why and how. Rather than having, for example, the fool, oh, it's new beginning. Why it's a new beginning? That, that's the whole point, you know, why it is a new beginning. And when you know why, you can relate it to the question. Because I was always um, making a laugh of uh, when, for example, you go to a tarot reader and you ask, say, you know, how is that person feeling about me? And that person um, and the tarot reader draws, say, the Ace of Swords, right? And they say, oh... Oh, they, they think that you are sharp. What? I mean, I, I asked why, how, they, how do they feel? I, I don't ask what they think. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a basic concept. So um, you, you need to be able to relate the card with any kind of question that falls into the, um, into the capabilities of tarot because there are questions that simply does not relate to the capabilities of tarot for example if you ask me what are going to be the lot the numbers of the lottery that nobody can tell you that okay that doesn't fall in any capabilities of a divination tool whatsoever or for example tell me the name of my next husband because i do have those kind of questions you know and that, that also cannot be answered by anybody so yeah, as long as it fits into the capability of the divination tool, you need to be able to relate it with anything. And if under the advanced classes you mean techniques, um, I am planning to do it, but that is not going to be a class, it's going to be just a video, probably a paid video, over uh, the elemental dignities. Connecting the cards. Well, I, in the class itself, um, at the end, you know, I'm making those uh, examples of a reading and how I do connect the cards, okay? But the only, how can I say, the only method that you can follow how to connect the cards, it is that elemental dignities. Anything else comes through practice, okay? You, you just got to practice. And if you practice something and it still doesn't work out, then it's, it simply doesn't, it's not, for what I can say, it's just not productive, okay? Well, 
what I do here, that simple three cards, right? So I'll try to showcase you guys, okay, since we opened the question. Okay, so uh, we have now Aquarius. So the first card for Aquarius, that is the Elemental Dignities, okay? So the first card for Aquarius, that is going to be the Five of Pentacles, and that is the main card, that is called Decor, all right? <clears throat> the second card and the third card are called, are called Catalyst. And this is, so the core is the situation, and this is the influence or the circumstances that are going to influence the situation in certain ways. In the first case, we do have Page of Wands, which is a neutral to the Five of Pentacles, okay? Which means that it, it can improve or it can deteriorate the Five of Pentacles, okay? So they are not severely linked. And then what we do have, it is the Eight of Swords, which is an enemy to the Five of Pentacles. That is a passive enemy to the Five of Pentacles, meaning that you, you strengthen those influences, then you avoid the poignancy of the Five of Pentacles. And then additionally, if you keep up with the Page of Wands, okay, that initially um, okay, suppresses, do not, does not avoid them, but suppresses them. Okay, and so pretty much what the these three cards for Aquarius points, it is that the Aquarius throughout the week are going to have the predisposition to feel very in, uncertain and insecure. That is for a reason being is that there are going to be here and there concerns which are to be trifles though, not a big concerns. But because they are going to be on multiple fronts, so we are talking about a many concerns that itself is going to make them feel uncertain and insecure about their working place and into their relationship they may have that fear that you know they are not taken seriously in it okay but uh because we do have the eight of swords here and that is the uh, uh the enemy to the five of pentacles that card pretty much points that the uh aquarius needs to remember their place Okay, what they are experiencing right now as a state of mind, it is just provoked from most certain circumstances and what they have as an account of accomplishment completely beats it. Okay, and that's why they need to maintain their calmness and their cool here and uh, understand that they're not going to be thrown over just because there is a, a minor trifle here and uh, here and there. And therefore, when we look at the uh, page of wands, these two cards with the five of pentacles, it means that just because they are feeling uncertain right now, that does not mean that they should not try to explore. And also with the page of wands, that card is a certain sign that whatever trifles they are to face, they do have the strength to overcome them. So pretty much we can conclude here that Aquarius, yes, they're going to face a bit of a challenges throughout the week, but those challenges are nothing in, in comparison to the force and the capability of, Aquari of Aquarius itself. So it's a week of a cleaning, okay? You, you are to clean small problems throughout the week, guys, and you should do it without hesitation whatsoever. Now, I hope that that's, um, it's a bit of a, uh, uh, that showcase kind of like uh, spoke for itself. Yeah, Ashley, well, I, I, I tried to keep it simple, okay, uh, but there is definitely more to it than what I'm showing right now. Right, so now finally we are going to Pisces. Somebody complained that Pisces is always last. Well, we are finally there, guys. Um,
Well, Lori, if that's the case, um, it doesn't look like that you're going to be first out, though. I mean, you're going to keep your place for what it seems. Okay, well, my point is that uh, there will be a more workouts found if we are looking at those cards, if we relate those cards to your uh, situation. So for Pisces, now the first one is going to be the Six of Cups. Wow, we do have the Page of Cups as well. And uh, then it's going to be the Strength card. Okay, so I don't like to see this. That, 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 that's Cancer here. Okay, under Cancer, I mean that that is a, a gaming gamer's expression. When we say that's a Cancer, it means that that ruins everything. Um, so what we do have it is a um, a things. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. So the, the week itself, you are going to start doing certain things or taking under certain undertakings that you're going to find a, a quite of a pleasure of doing, you know, that could be hanging out with certain people. It could be as well doing some, uh, some certain things into your career or into your relationship that you're going to enjoy a lot, right? But in the same time, you will think that those things are quite immature, okay? And that they do not stick with... Uh, with the normal presence that you should incorporate in term of career or in term of relationship whatsoever. As a matter of fact, um, in career, say those cards may speak that you will start maintaining some more intimate um, relationship with a coworker of yours and that will aggravate you because uh, according to your standards, that is unacceptable. Nonetheless, you are going to like it. So there are going to be things that you uh, emotionally you are going to like, but in the same time, uh, enthusiastically, you are going to despise. So we do have a bit of an, an internal struggle for you, uh, Pisces, throughout this uh, throughout this week. No different than, for example, starting start falling in love with the boyfriend of your best girlfriend, right? Or of the girlfriend of your best friend, boyfriend, you know, I mean, if you are a male, for example, falling in love with the girlfriend of your bestie, and the same thing if you are a girl, you know, falling in love with the boyfriend of your, um, of your bestie, so it's something that you would love emotionally, because it's mutual, but in the same time, you will despise yourself, because come on, it's your bestie, right, so it's such kind of a, uh, uh, such kind of a uh, uh, enterprise we do have for you throughout this week, Pisces, something that you would love, simultaneously despise. Now, um, it's very important to hold your horses down uh, throughout this week and take your time to truly try to analyze the overview of the situation at the end of the day, because the, the situation itself is going to be different for every single one of you. Um, and uh, the right decision is going to be different for every single one of you as well. Some of you should give themselves away to that pleasure. To that pleasure, other others should withdraw from it. The thing with the strength card here, it is that uh, if you lose control over yourself, you um, how can I say you are to jeopardize uh, the entirety of the field, like social circle and like career as well so you cannot afford to lose control guys throughout uh, throughout this week you cannot afford for example to cheat um on your uh on your bestie with their girlfriend or with their boyfriend i mean if you are to start a relationship with them that is going to be only for example when they are done with uh, with uh, the with your bestie okay so that that is what I am trying to uh, that is what I am trying to say. That is the point that I am trying to make. Or if you get to accept the job, that will be only when your, for example, a good friend of a coworker is completely denied of having it. Because we are having here some something like a, for, a forbidden fruit that comes about. You wanna eat it, but in the same time, you know that for the time being is forbidden or prohibit to you. So yeah, it's it's all about internal control for you throughout this uh, throughout this particular week.
Right, moving next, we do have a queries. Yeah, I don't get too spicy. <laughs> Alright, so the first card for Aquarius is going to be the Queen of Swords. That is always a good sign. Okay, in a general reading, then we do have the uh, Knight of Cups. And then we do have the King of Cups. So, uh, the time of democracy is over. It's pretty much, I mean, this ain't a democracy. Here, uh, throughout this week, you need to enforce your, uh, your will and your opinion. Because it will be weighted on you, the things to be pushed through in term of career and in term of relationship as well okay being a milder trying to satisfy everybody and uh, in generally doing your decisions in a such a way that at the end of the day everybody but you ends up um, ends up happy that's not the way how you do it here what we are talking about throughout the week for you Aries is that everything it's a say a well-oiled machine okay and whichever part does not do their job they simply does not belong into the machine itself. What I am trying to say it is that, for example, you are running a project, right? Let's say 10 people and you are the supervisor of the project and a couple of the, co of the co-workers there or of the participant, they're just not doing a, a great job. You are friends with them, but they do not do a great job, right? You do dispose of these people immediately and you do replace them with those that can get the job done. So here we are talking about a, a professional and really cold hearted and, and how can I say tenacious, if you will, behavior throughout the week. So you can push your things through in terms of career and in terms of relationship rather than to take the weak side and under weak side, I mean the side of submission where if you know somebody confronts you about the things you are about to do or about the strategies that you are to manifest and you back off from them just because you know the other person doesn't like them well no progress is going to be created i mean the queen of swords uh, has her things pushed through because she is relentless and because she is ruthless when she needs to be okay and that is exactly the week that you are going to have. I mean, the week itself will ask you of have your uh, a, a usual warm on green nature uh, to display there and to be a driving force for you. Now, um, should you do it so, uh, then uh, you are going to, because we do have that combo here, okay, just one second, uh, these two, so we do have the Queen of Swords and the Knights of Cups, these are a active neutrals, that means that uh, you are going to, the results that you are going to accomplish in terms of career or in terms of relationship uh, are going to be, uh, how can I say, accomplished with way less efforts and resources than you originally anticipated, right? So if you thought that you will have to convince your partner in relationship for, let's say, three days, begging for them to do whatever you think is right, should you display your warmongry nature and your relentless nature out there when you say you are going to do it, period? And they say, okay, you know, and you, what? I mean, was it that easy? I mean, seriously? So, yeah, I mean, you just have to show your teeth. That's, or gnash your teeth in front of people in front of those that things that you know they can get away with shenanigans in front of you uh so yeah aries it does look like that you need to show who is the boss this time around throughout the week and now last but not least we do have a um taurus Right, so for Taurus, we do have the um, <clears throat> Chariot, followed by the Seven of Pentacles. And then we do have the Knight of Pentacles, so those three cards. So Taurus, um, the week itself, uh, it will be, how can I describe it? Well, that could be uh, a huge week for you, or it could be a total disaster. 
and all will be decided if you know what what you want and if you're not knowing what you do but yeah if you if you do keep up with what you want okay so if you are, are chaotic throughout the week nothing is going to get accomplished but if you do set yourself a goal and you work specifically and only toward that goal with rather simplistic and how can i say a uh, very well-designed maneuvers and uh, under well-designed i mean uh kind of like setting up a step after a, a step don't try to multitask throughout the week that that will be the worst thing you you want to do here so if you're not chaotic and you do not multitask and you know what you want and you are chasing it or you are following it with a strong determination you can turn the odds around okay i mean whatever you thought that you were never gonna have and you were never going to succeed actually at the end of the day is going to turn out to be a huge triumph <clears throat> now uh seven of pentacles and the chariot card it's uh, it's a pretty peculiar combo and it stands for a accurate placement of effort and of resources so if something isn't working out for you that is because of one of the two either you are underperforming or you are over killing it there is there won't be any such thing it doesn't work out because i can't do it okay that that is just out of the question with the energy of the chariot card you can do literally anything throughout the week but you need to have it as a goal and you need to be focused on it right instead of being scampered around among two goals so you have to set your priority one priority throughout the week and follow it no matter what because in the end you are gonna end up triumphing over it thank you selena uh thank you for joining in so that was uh, that was about uh, Taurus, and uh, that concludes the all uh, twelve star signs. And now the last pool is going to be conducted. So um, finally, guys, uh, our last question is going to be picked, and please input your questions before beneath the uh, in the in the posts. Oh my God, in the in the comments down into posts. I'm sorry, I'm so uh, I'm so distracted i don't know how to say it it's just it's so hard for me to focus right now <laughs> are these people don't sleep man oh my god <laughs> if there is someone who can make me laugh that is that guy let me just send him a message and I'm going to come back to you. Oh my God. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> the thing is that they have... Uh, opened the pubs and the discos okay yesterday and now he is it's right now it's uh 3 37 a.m okay here and that guy is probably somewhere whoring or it's somewhere drunk and he is texting me the message is literally bow you know bow like, like what, what are you doing oh my god oh thank you gary Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Ah, uh, yeah, I need to rest. Dicey, you, you, you are, you are right about that. I need, and, and I will do. All right. So, uh, Lisa, Bo Lisa Duke, uh, will I find my ideal job soon? But before that, uh, I want to answer a Christine Robertson asking, will I be a great grandma? 
Now that's uh, entirely up to you. Now, if you are wondering, you know, can you handle it? That's another thing. And I will try to answer you with one card here because it's all that it takes. And Christine, the very fact that you are asking about it means that you do care. And I, I do believe that, that this is all that it takes, uh, caring about it, okay? And that itself is going to make you being a great, great grandma. We do have the Eight of Pentacles. You're definitely going to be. As a matter of fact, you're going to have a substantial role into the child's life or into the children's life. They're going to learn a lot, a lot from you. Okay. Okay, so that was uh, Christine's answer to a Christine's question. Now let's see Elisa Duke. Uh, will Elisa going to find an, an ideal job soon? So the first one is Three of Cups. Moving next, we do have the High Priestess, followed by uh, the Prince of Swords. And the last one that we do have, that will be the Hangman. Um, if you are going to find it, it's not going to be in between. Uh, so that reading doesn't show it. So it's not going to be till the end of the year. So I'm sorry, Lisa, it doesn't look like it. But uh, you are going to find an ideal job. Because having the hang, the high priestess, especially into the second position of this spread, shows that there won't be any consistency. What I mean is that even if you do start the job, you would want to walk away from it. Okay. Although uh, <clears throat> it does look like that uh, throughout this uh, one year, from now up until the end of uh, the end of December, uh, your efforts, or rather, like your um, skills, or in generally the asset that you are offering, is going to start making an impact, or rather, like people are going to spot you. Um, and uh, probably because the hangman at the end is a, simultaneously a bad and a good card, which points that uh, you won't be uh, you won't be able to find it that fast. But at the end of the day, it will find you. That's that's the thing here, Lisa. That you can't find it it will find you, okay? So I do suspect that the ideal job with, to you, for you, it's not gonna come from a uh, advert or ad at the newspaper or in some sort of a, uh, um, how can I say, looking for a job app. The ideal job for you will come with a, uh, uh, with, uh, as a, uh, for example, a business lady or, or a businessman with a suit, with a nice car coming around and saying, hey, I want you to work for me, okay? Uh, but for that, probably you are not ready yet and um, you may need to, I don't know, that, that is just a, a second guessing because the cards are not showing it, but probably uh, you may have to acquire some other qualifications, you know, and, and in general grow internally in order to accomplish it. But for ideal job, those cards are saying that the, the ideal job is going to find you, you're not going to find it. Well, yeah, that, that's what I uh, that's what I'm talking about, Lisa. That you're not gonna find it; it will find you. So these people, if they are interested, they will find you again. Okay. All right. So Rodustina Georgieva about the, the to toxic detachments. Okay. So let's have a look about the toxic detachments, and is she going to get rid of them? So we do have the Two of Cups, 
with the Prince of Cups. And we do have the Prince of Pentacles. Or we do have, have quite some drama here, you know, are we not? All right, so um, literally it does look like that this is the winning combo, right? I mean, we do have Two of Cups, Prince of Cups, or that is the Knight of Cups. Wrong. This is a, a drowning uh, combo, okay? It's like you, you, you are a drowner with it. Now, the winning one is this one, okay? Uh, two of uh, Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So pretty much, Rodustino, what I can tell you, it is that you are betting your hope into the wrong people. And yes, you can make the detachment. You will be able to get rid of them with a sudden severance. What I mean is that you just simply say it in front of those, um, of those people or whatever. You know, for example, if you don't want to spend time with somebody, you say, you suck or I, I don't want you around. You, you just get... Get away, get out, get out. It's as simple as that. Otherwise, they are always going to be around because into their mind, you love them, okay? I mean, you, you like those people. They, this is how they see you, and that may not be true. But the thing is that um, the only way how you are going to make those detachment and become free, it is that you need consistent environment or I, people, friends, you know, and so on and so forth that are consistent and they do know what they want and they do follow their dreams and they do have a plan for the future, okay? Uh, and that is the only way how you will have some sort of, how can I say, a, 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 a predictability when you deal with somebody and uh, additionally to that, that is the way how the emotions stabilize. Because like I said, these are not stable emotions. These are the stable emotions here with the pentacle one. All right, so I think that that's enough. I, I can't continue any longer, guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope that all that I, may, I said made sense because I have no idea what I said. By, by the way, it's just I'm so disfocused. It's not even funny. Uh, it's just not my day, I guess. And... Um, Again, thank you so much for watching. Should you want a personal reading with me, you can check out uh, my website here, which is listed in the post. And uh, well, as, as soon as you place your purchase, within 24 hours, I'm gonna come back to you, and uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to I'm going to explain you how your reading is gonna take place. As well, uh, at Sunday, the next beginner star class is starting. Uh, in it, I'm going to explain you the major arcana and how to tackle with them in terms of career, in terms of relationship, and how to read them into the dedicated spread I have only for a major arcana. In fact, it is that same um, tarot spread that I am using here to answer the uh, the four card tarot spread to answer the questions. <clears throat> the questions, I'm sorry. And also, uh, it's a six weeks long tarot class. Uh, a lecture every week you get to own the lecture as well meaning that you are going to get a copy of it a physical copy a video okay of it and um, yeah the minor arcana classes are starting as well which are under the same conditions but they are going to take place at saturday not at sunday as well so in order to sign up go to my website and um, once you purchase it again i'm going to come back to you within 24 hours and i'm going to explain you how the class is going to take place Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Maria. And yeah, that being said, guys, I wish you best of luck. Stay safe and uh, until next time.